are now listening to The Power of Gentle Talk with Ana Palacio, the talk that informs, inspires, and motivates. Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Ana Palacio, and yes, this is The Power of Gentle Talk, aired every Saturday between 2 and 3 through WBZT 1230 and iHeartRadio. I have two wonderful guests today, and uh, we have a wonderful topic, as usual, I think. Our topic today is going to be in regards to Bernie Sanders. I have two people here that are very passionate about uh, him being the next president of the United States. And this is not a debate. This is simply showcasing, Bernie, why you think that he should be the next president. So now I will go ahead and introduce my guests. My first guest is Susan Lerner. Susan is originally from New York, where she had an interesting series of careers, including physical therapist, electrician, construction project manager, photographer, photographing for the United Federation of Teachers and other unions in New York City. Since moving to Florida in 2005, she has added interfaith minister and is currently also a health and sustainability activist. Susan leads the Vital Longevity Raw Meetup Group and hosts the largest raw food potluck in South Florida, plus alternative health related speakers. Welcome, Susan. Mr. Lorenzo Canizares, retired union organizer from Pennsylvania State Education Association, uh, Communication Workers of America, currently an Awake Miami facilitator, Labor Council for Latin American Advancement, which is the LCLAA Membership Committee, co-chair, Progressive Democrats of America Committee, and he's co-founder of South Florida for Bernie, Florida Alliance of Retired Americans, uh, Board of Directors, representing the LCAA. He's a Cuban American, oh, Cuban Americans for Bernie uh, Director, and administrator of six Facebook pages, and he too is never bored. No, never <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> it's great to be here. Uh, thank you, thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> well, okay, so our chat today really is showcasing Bernie and why you think he should be the next president. So let's begin. I'm going to ask basically the same question to both, and you respond as you feel in your heart that, you know, that you feel, how you feel about it. Okay, why vote for Bernie Sanders instead of Hillary? The reason that I am uh, supporting Bernie instead of Hillary is because I believe that to bring back the greatness of what we once had in the United States when we were the most humongous. When I came into the United States in 1962, this country was basically touching heaven. Um, any, anybody uh, could come from the outside. Uh, of course, uh, anybody that is not, uh, that, that w you know, uh, there was a lot of limitations uh, uh, inside here for black people, and uh, and uh, that cannot be uh, glossed over. But uh, the reality is that uh, a lot of the people that came from out, uh, other countries, uh, when uh, you came here, uh, you will come here with nothing, and uh, if you work very hard, uh, you will be able to show something. Uh, which is not what happening today. Today, people work very hard and have nothing to show. I mean, uh, the only thing they, they probably they could show is debts. Um, uh, the middle class has been wiped out, uh, or is in the in being in the process of being wiped out. Um, here in Palm Beach County, from what I saw, um, might not be that obvious, uh, but in areas of uh, uh, of Dade County, where I come from. Um, it's very obvious. Uh, it's very obvious that uh, uh, people uh, are on uh, sinking, it's mm -hmm. falling down. Uh, I am uh, retired as, uh, as Susan from my own particular experience uh, I, uh, because of the fact that I work in, in and I was a union member. Uh, I had a, a very good uh, pension. Uh, uh, but those things are always are, are now hanging by a thread. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know there is no certainty whatsoever. I mean the 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 the, the peace and quiet that you, you expected to have when you retire, mm -hmm. it had been taken away from you. Now we are going to be suffering hits uh, on the social security check uh, in order to pay for the for the Medicare. Uh, through the rise of Medicare. Uh, so uh, the reality is that uh, if we want to be able to regain that middle class, we have to stop the 
in the growing income inequality that exists in the United States. I come from a third world country uh, where that was the, the reigning uh, process before um, uh, uh, the Cuban revolution. Uh, the, 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 the process was that, that you, know, you have a very small percentage of the people that live very well mm -hmm. and the vast majority of the people live hanging by a thread. Well, now that you see mentality. it here. You see I it. I am seeing it here. I'm seeing it coming. And uh, as a matter of fact, I, co I consider myself uh, uh, that that experience of coming from a foreign country and uh, from a third world uh, 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 un uh, environment uh, has helped me to understand that we are going that way. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I, I'd like to answer. Yeah, sure, definitely. Yeah. So, um, why Bernie? Why Bernie? And why Bernie versus Hillary? Um, the, the, the things that jump out for me when I think about that question is um, what the characteristics Bernie has um, that draw me to him. Okay. And so one of the personal characteristics that the man has that draws me to him is his honesty. And so there isn't, I mean, Bernie doesn't fudge the facts. Bernie is, Bernie tells the truth. Bernie says what he means, means what he says, and you can count on what he's talking about. D and just like with anybody else, I'm sure that, you know, he's a human being and sometimes things need explaining, but, but he's honest. He has integrity. He's reliable. He's count honorable. He's, there's no, I mean, his initials are BS, but there's no BS <laughs> about Bernie. <coughs> Do you know okay, what I mean? Sure. And, and so, you know, that is appealing to me, and even more importantly than that, that's so refreshing to me, because I trust him, and what's happening around the country is people are listening to him and getting his authenticity and how, how much he truly deeply cares about the people of this country and the people all over the world, um, that, you know, he's, he's someone to, I hate to say this, he's someone to believe in. You know, he's something to, to, to say, well, yes, just what, what, what Lorenzo was saying, you know, our, our, our society today isn't this, doesn't have the strength that it has 40 years ago. And um, Bernie is someone who I believe, because of who he is and, and what he believes in, that he can, he can return this country to its greatness, really return its country to its greatness, not, you know... <laughs> not like some other people say. <laughs> so, wha and why not? Why not Hillary? Because, uh, and I don't want to get into Hillary bashing. And I don't always believe Hillary. And I was a strong Hillary supporter. But I've, you know, done a lot of reading and a lot of research. And I, I just find that um, I just can't always trust what she says. Okay. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. And that's the last I'll say about her All in right, this com in this uh, conversation. Uh, and let me add something because it, 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 I think it's uh, important to that there's another candidate running. I mean, it's, uh, uh, yeah, Martin O'Malley. Martin O'Malley. Mm -hmm. uh, Martin O'Malley. I lived in Pennsylvania for many years. I mean, he was from the neighbor state of Maryland, and uh, he was the governor there. And from uh, all that I know, the guy was a very good governor. And um, um, uh, when he says that the best public schools, uh, that's what my field was, uh, public education, uh, the po best public schools in the country are in Maryland. He's, to he, he's, he's right. Okay. He's talking the truth. So, I mean, we, w the, the, ca the Democrats, uh, if we are going to say that Hillary is the, the, the weakest, in, at least in our, uh, my conception, and I mean, uh, uh, Susan, uh, conception, um, I mean, we have three powerful candidates, uh, uh, <laughs> three very good people that uh, I would vote any time from uh, any uh, uh, over the, the people in the uh, the other party. Uh, but there they are degrees of uh, of uh, how good they are. Oh and uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Um, Sanders suggests free college education. What mm -hmm. is his plan as far as handling the? Um, the huge burden on the budget and the national deficit. What's what is his comments? Well, he's. I mean, very simply, he's going to tax Wall Street to pay for free college. What's most important about and, and that's, you know, that's been um, looked at by other financial uh, analysts and so on, and it's a good plan. What's most important about why he wants to offer free college, free college tuition for 
qualified students, students who are up to par, not, not students who are not up to par, but students who are up to par, because we need smart, educated people in this country. Everybody, mm-hmm. and, and, and educated people and people who are intelligent enough to rise are in every strata of our society. They're everywhere, and they're um, um, right now not going to college, not going on to the next highest levels, because because there's no financial backing for them to do so. So mm-hmm. it's, it's ludicrous. And one, one of the things that Bernie talks about is how it used to be that a high school education was the bare minimum for a job. And now, really, for the kinds of jobs that we want to have here and the kinds of the, and the level of, uh, of intelligent dialogue that we want to have here, we want to have intelligent people mm-hmm. um, voting for our, our, our government, sure. um, we want college-educated people. And he's, he's got a plan to do it, and I, I think that's really great. Yeah. I also think um, it's uh, important to realize that uh, this is this idea didn't come down from the sky. I mean, they, they, we had it here in the United States. <laughs> we had right. it in California. Uh, the be, the best uh, school system, public school system, uh, uh, public education, uh, higher education uh, in the country was in California, and uh, uh, until uh, mm-hmm. Reagan, uh, that uh, system was free. Uh, 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 so I mean, this is nothing, nothing new. Susan is totally right. I mean, the 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 the, the question of uh, being able to f- finance that c- comes from uh, the ability to be able to p- tax properly. Um, all today, the marginal tax rate, the highest uh, for the, the open uh, income people, is thirty nine percent. But during the Eisenhower years, um, a Republican. Uh, the 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 marginal tax rate was 91 percent. Uh, that that means after a certain amount of money, that's it. You know you will be taxed very heavily. Uh, and uh, just to clarify, that's not on all of the money. Right. That's on a percentage above a certain number. Yeah. So the 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 thing is that the. Uh, because of that, it w- the, the the country was flooded with money, and we were able to do all kinds of uh, of, of things. And uh, to conclude on this point, uh, f- uh, f- for me at least, uh, is that um, when this proposal uh, is done, being done by Bernie, doesn't mean that Harvard is going to be for free. It, it means uh, the the public schools, the public education, uh, you know, like University of Illinois, you know, p- places like that, would be for free. Uh, the community college would be for free, um, uh, which is a step ahead of what uh, Barack Obama is proposing. Barack Obama is proposing community colleges for free. Uh, now Bernie has up the ante to mm-hmm. all the, the public universities. Uh, I went to Queens, I'm a Queens College graduate, right. and I was, and I didn't live in the city, but had I lived in the city, New York City, that would have been free for me. As it was, it was $400 a semester. And so, you know, we don't have that kind of education anymore. And it's, and it was a great education. Okay. Okay, so, s- s- uh, Bernie Sanders, he's a self-proclaimed social democrat. What kind of socialism is he offering America, and you know, is it does it fit the American mindset? Is really the question. So, what is his plan? What does he say? Why should people that are listening, you know, how can not try to convince, but what is he saying about the kind of socialism he's he's proclaiming? I, I think that Bernie is is in the in the realm of some of our best presidents, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, for instance, who, who in a time very much like this time, finan- uh, economically in the country and the, the dissension in the country, um, d- uh, Roosevelt um, put together programs that helped people get ahead. He uh, put together Social Security and, and, and other programs that, that work programs that helped people get ahead. He was, he was, um, people-minded, not corporation-minded. In fact, he said, um, let me see if I can paraphrase one of his statements that he made, he said um, that, that, that big money running a country is as dangerous as the mob running the country. And what we have today is big money corporations running our country. And, and so Bernie is, is, is here to take us back to a time where it, w- it really is by the people, you know, of the people and for the people. So um, 
I know, I'll, I'll say more about that, but I'm sure Lorenzo has something to say. Well, I uh, want to echo what uh, uh, Susan is saying, because basically uh, uh, what Bernie, when Bernie talks about social democracy, that, that should not be considered like a foreign concept. I mean, this is a very much in the American uh, uh, history uh, component. Uh, uh, all, that, all those programs that, that, she, that she mentions, uh, um, and Civilian Conservation Corps, uh, you know, the, all that work on the, on the, the Tennessee Valley Authority, all those things were uh, government-initiated uh, uh, projects, uh, which is considered uh, uh, socialism. And I want to take it also to, to the outside world since I come from the outside, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. is, uh, <laughs> is that yeah, um, you, t you have the non-European countries. The non-European countries, all of them are rated the most happiest places in the world to live. And why is the, the, that case? It's because people there have all the opportunities to be able to make something worthwhile out of their lives. The people there have also a, um, a cushion. Um, there is a term for that. That's, I forget the, the, exactly the, the terminology. But it's a cushion. It's a comfort zone, maybe? A, a comfort so yeah, in the sense that uh, if you lose your uh, job or you lose, uh, mm. uh, there is you, you, you're not going into, oh. into, into misery. I mean, uh, you, will, you will be uh, uh, given a, a, a chance to, um, to, to bounce back. And um, uh, so th the thing um, that uh, those countries uh, provide uh, also, you know, for example, uh, the free health care. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, when we had the crisis here of uh, people losing their homes, uh, most people were losing their homes. Uh, yeah, medical expenses. Uh, part of the uh, uh, health care crisis. They will right. get a health care crisis in their life, even though you had insurance, but the, 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 the cost the, uh, for you to pay for mm. that, uh, to be able to be taken care of uh, in your health, uh, it, it, uh, it uh, reflected and, uh, and, uh, and you end up having to decide uh, your health or, or the house, and, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you lose your house, and uh, um, so that's w one of the reasons. That so he's really kind of going back to a socialism that socialism that has existed before. Obviously, everything we've we've been talking about was in place at one time. We definitely have lost it, and he feels he can bring it back. Well, yeah. we, we're we're still living with a lot of it. I mean. I'm 65. I'm collecting Social Security, and I'm happy for it. And I have Medicare, and I'm happy for it. And mm -hmm. so these are socialist, socialist programs. You know, one of the one of the things to be aware of when we um, when we listen to the news is, you know, there's socialism is thrown around by the media. A lot of the media, not this media, mm -hmm. but a lot <laughs> of the media. It's thrown around by media and by um, um, Bernie's opponents as a scary, scary word, you know, trying to hook people back into that red scare, into communism, and, 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 and align him with forces that he is not in any way, shape, or form aligned with. But for the people who aren't educated about the truth, you know, it's very effective. I see on Facebook all the time, I'm not voting for that socialist. He's going to take mm -hmm. us back to, you know, Russia, you know. It's, that's all BS. Yeah. It's about education. It's, it, and, and that's why I wanted to do the show on your comments because it's people, um, a lot of people don't n understand what he's for. And it's overshadowed by the comments, negative comments, that give it, you know, a, a bad name. And this is something that was already in place at one time. There's, there's another point to make, <coughs> excuse me, and that is that the United States is, I, I, you know, I don't know the statistics on it, but we have a, basically a two-party system. And it's a two-party system that, that, you know, the two parties support a two-party system. And then you have your outliers, you know, the, the independents or the um, Green Party, which are really so sm small in this country that um, the general population doesn't really understand that there are other ideas besides Republican and Democrat. And so Bernie is an independent. He is now a Democrat, but he was, run he was an independent for all of his life in, um, um, in, in all of his uh, government positions. But he, um, he has other ideas, and 
Don't we want other ideas? Because if, we ha- if we're just going to have the same old, same old, you know, the same old, same old gives you exactly what you already have. I, I don't know. This world is not good enough for me. Is it good enough for you? I'm asking your listeners, really. Is yeah. it? Do you have all that you need? Does everybody around you have all that they need? I don't think so. Well, I just want to remind everyone that you're tuned into WBZT 1230 and iHeartRadio. My name is Anna Palacio. This is The Power of Gentle Talk. Mm-hmm. My guests today are Susan Lerner and Lorenzo Canizares. <laughs> and we're having a wonderful conversation discussing Bernie Sanders and why he is the candidate for presidency 2016. Mm-hmm. It's their opinions. Uh, they're, they are very um, passionate about what they believe that Sanders stands for. And... This format, uh, you know, on my talk show really is about conversing. It is about listening to each other's opinions. And I'll have the the, 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 the Republican parties here that will discuss why they should be the ones because it's just in all fairness. But this is a topic that um, I felt strongly about, about as well because I, I, I have to say I, I, I'm kind of leaning that way. <laughs> I really do th- like what he says. Yeah, we really appreciate that, Anna. You know? Really. Yeah. So I wanted to let you know that. We're going to take a short break because we're going to go into our second half of the hour okay. and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you. We'll be right back. 